say that it's exactly the same. We've always been fascinated with sound effects and atmospheres, always sprinkling uh, weird cinematic soundscapes on, onto our songs. And uh, when it came time to, to do the movie, we would uh, take the film in, in little scenes, like songs, and uh, work on it, and uh, as usual, uh, we would take it too far, and uh, we wouldn't know it until we actually would watch it in context, shape everything so that when people were talking, perhaps that the uh, uh, a spaceship noise or a, a machine wasn't actually louder than somebody talking, and uh, shape it so that it wouldn't be quite so interruptive. But then sometimes we would we would just sit there and say that just sounds so great that maybe we would alter a scene just so we could have a big explosive moment with a with a crazy sound and just just have a sound be there for its own sake much like in a song uh, i think just being fans of sci-fi and and otherworldly sounds uh in strange uh unusual situations uh Star Wars was always a, a fun. For a lot of the spaceship noises, they went around and, and got, a, I think they were sea lions, or just going to the zoo and recording animals to make the uh, sounds of spaceships and doors opening and little machines and things like that. Oh, just like that. Oh, sorry, let me get this. We're interested in exploring the same idea and uh, the two main real sounds that we were looking at for, I guess you would say, the basis of, of a lot of the noise floor of when you'd walk into a room or uh, machines and things of that nature uh, were going to be a heartbeat and a baby, a baby crying. Manipulate the sound, pitch change them, double them up, uh, flange them, do f I think I did one where I actually had chopped up the the sounds and got f I, it wasn't literally 50 tracks but a lot of tracks and then uh, shifted them so that I'd start this 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 row of heartbeats here and then offset another row of heartbeats so you'd get this the, okay well I can show you a piece of a piece of audio on the screen kind of looks like that. Sort of cut, cut and pasted. It's <laughs> uh, a very mechanical sound out of out of uh, what I suppose would be the most organic sound imaginable. Maybe next time we'll just use a broken refrigerator. Excuse me. We're imagining. Actually, I have totally dried up. <laughs> but it seems like only one person on the space station actually knows what to look for uh, uh, and how to actually work anything. Uh, twisting knobs that that might actually be made out of flesh or something like that, and uh, that it's all a very delicate balance of uh, these machines working at precisely the right intervals and gravity specifications. And we're we're looking at Mars as a as a, as more of a state of mind that that this place that these people have found themselves in, uh, could be anywhere. Uh, oof. I, I would suppose I would leave that up to each viewer's discretion. <laughs> I, I'll have to say, I've watched it. I may have seen this movie even more than no, I, th I think I've still seen Star Wars more, but I've seen this movie a lot, and it's never been on drugs. Yeah, it's just, 
it's just part of my thing. Sort of like a Geordie LaForge. 